Oh, hey, here we go. We're getting started on a, another broadcast where uh, I had just did this one. It was really bad. I messed up my, my microphone, got off to a really bad start, uh, lost control of the train, lost the back half of it. It was a disaster. So let's try it again. <laughs> Maybe the disaster. I, I'm worried about crashing. That that wasn't that wasn't the problem. Uh, the problem was, um, you know, I'm still learning OBS and trying to figure out all the buttons for the scenes. You know, so uh, it's getting a while to practice. But uh, hopefully, you understand. Uh, let's see. Let's get a get a couple logs in here and stoke up the fire because. We, Got to have our coffee by the time we get down to the bottom of the hill. All right. Uh, here we go. Now, this is a really long train. This is 22 cars of rail and iron. We got to deliver the rail to the to the uh, coal mine, and we got to deliver the iron down to the to the factory. And, and we gotta do that. Uh oh, Pinky going to bed. Oh, say bye on Pinky Cam. Oh. Oh well, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Pinky. Good night. <laughs> See you later. All right, hon. Yeah, Pinky sits. Uh, that's my wife. She sits next to me. And so, so we're going to take the wonderful number eight which is the Hilda of our Highland Pacific. It's a class 70 uh, engine. And it's a forest here. It is a wonderful clear day here out here at Blue Lake and Lake Valley. So uh, let's turn that headlight on. Yes. Oh boy, that makes a difference. <laughs> All right, let's jump in that cab. There we are. We are in the cab. Get our long view started there. Let's go to full screen. Full screen is a little different from widescreen. I see more than you do on widescreen. Okay, I got the regulator going. Two whistle blasts. And release that brake, which we won't need much steam or regulator at all because this is all downgrade here. And I tried to keep it at 2%, which I think it's 2% mostly for the whole run, which you don't think is bad. But when you have a 22 car long iron train, it's like, oh my God. When you're going off the side of a, of a cliff, it's, Oh my god. And yeah, I didn't make it last time. Oh, there's Coyote Point way off in the distance there. Let's go back to widescreen. All right, there's the widescreen view. Because, boy, you see a whole lot more with widescreen. So I got to watch my speed. Uh, because I crashed, the back half of the train uh, derailed and came off the tracks. And and we were doing about 37. I was looking for the caboose. And I'm looking for the caboose again. This is a really long train. There's, there's the caboose. Yeah, you can see the lights. All right, there's the caboose. I love those marker lights. I'm glad they added that. Well, I'm doing 31 on these curves here. So again, it's getting away from me, but Brakes are really good. Brakes are really good on this engine. Oh, we are trucking, trucking, trucking. This time much better. I'm paying a little more attention than I was last time. Last time I had mic issues. The mic was all off to the side. And nobody could hear me and then I was just yakking away. Uh, so this may be my longest and tallest bridge but I'm not sure I have to check it with my desert bridge 
I don't like long bridges. A lot of a lot of railroads on line players just add bridges everywhere. And I try to minimize their use, try to hug the terrain. But when you hug the train, you got tighter curves. Okay, here's 30. I need to slow it down here. I need to slow it down. Yeah, see, you got to hu hug these curves. Those curves add just more danger to your train possibly derailing. Okay, brakes at zero again. Yeah, look how long that is. <laughs> Maybe the full screen full screen view. There you go. Okay, no brakes. Doing 24 much better. So this is where I crashed. This was the site of the accident last time. But again, I was doing 37 through here. And, and I was just trucking along. Oh, nice shot of Coyote Peak up there. See, it looks like kind of a coyote. It was one of those floating rocks. It's kind of a UFO valley here. There's a lot of floating. Things. All right. So yeah, I was just yakking away, and I was bragging on this part coming up that hey, you can see the entire train. <laughs> Only problem was, we were missing the entire train. All right. So we're looking for those caboose. We're looking for the marker lights. See, that's the thing about full screen. I can see widescreen. I can see things you can't. Oh, there they are. There's the caboose and the marker light. So, yes, we're going to make it this time. We're doing 22. This is all new track. Untested by a long, long train. So that's probably why I had problems. This is Little River. Crossing Little River here. I did have a, a line running up this uh, canyon before, but it was too many bridges, and I didn't like that because it goes against my, my concept. So that this is a bridge to nowhere. Right now, it just ends on a spur track. Uh, that's a future project. I'm going to want to make a uh, beach resort down there and a passenger station siding or spur. I don't know if it'll loop or just spur in spur out I don't know. all right we're going to pick up some speed here because this is uh back to two percent downhill through this valley I should just call it coyote valley because of coyote point up there and it is windy because you know again I tried to stay as much as I can to the terrain as real narrow gauge would do bridges cost lots of money and so a lot of railroads. Okay, here's a probably a sharp turn. Need to slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Ah! Is everybody going to make it? Okay, yeah, we'll be fine. I think turnouts are 77 meters radius. And I've been testing uh, high speed trains with like 80. They seem to be okay, but I prefer 100 meter radius turns. We are trucking, trucking, trucking. Okay, now we are back on regular track. Yay, this is all regular track back here. Doing 17 around this, this is not bad. We can start adding a little regulator. Hopefully these switches are all lined up. <laughs> that would have been good to check, maybe. I should have called the uh, office. Just a little bit of regulator, get that smoke blowing. Let everybody in the yard know we're coming through. We're coming up on the uh, corporate headquarters of the Highland Pacific here. There's the water tank for the standard gauge on the uh, left side. Here is our new engine facility, car shops and turntable. That's kind of cool. Our corporate headquarters is the two-story yellow building right there. Christmas tra train is ready to depart. I should be paying attention where I'm going. We're passing the coal train. Oh, there's, there's our first train on display, retired. 
has a, it, it's in its own uh, Rock Ridge Park right there. <laughs> Where am I going? Oh no, there's a train ahead. Oh, is this switch okay? Oh, don't hit that train, don't hit that train. Oh, the switch is fine. Switch is fine. Oh, yeah, I would have hit the steel train. All right, hey, hit the brake, turn off the regulator. Oh, let everybody know we're coming in. Brake is looking okay. nice and smooth. Oh my God, this is the smoothest run better. So much better than the last video. Oh my gosh. Yes, indeed. We are coming in. Oh, nice and slow. All right, full stop, full stop, full stop, full stop, full stop. Yay! <laughs> we made it! Yay! We're alive! Everything is okay. Everything is good. Oh my god, we made it. It's okay. Woo! All right. Well, uh, now now comes the next part of the game called uh, loading dock online, and that's where every railroader, uh, you know, the short part is you get to play the you get to play the railroad game. The long the long part of this game is loading and unloading, and they're the developers. This is a pre-release game, and the developers have kind of heard heard our complaints that you know we don't want to play loading dock online uh but you kind of have to so my trick is i take the brake off and i add two notches of throttle on the engine and then jump off and you would never do this in real life but this ain't real life uh, what you do is the, the train is totally unpersoned. And so now I'm pressing, I'll put it on widescreen so you can see what's going on. So now as the, as, as the cars come by, I can unload them. So here's a hint and tip and trick, but you got to do this. This, this works on this one because there's only three. Items to unload. One, two, three. And it's a long receiving dock. So on a shorter dock, it doesn't work so well. But on this one, it's perfect. Now, the train is going to go faster and faster and faster. And so it's going to get a little more hectic the, the, more, the longer I wait to do this. So, but so far... So far, the rails are stacking up. Let's see this again. Let's see, are the rails stacking up? Yep. Oops. You can see them stacking there. Kind of in a weird spot where it's like hitting, hitting me. There it goes. There it goes. Yep, they're stacking up. This is a long, 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 long train. Can I unload here? Oh, yeah, we are in. How much money am I making? Uh, I think I started with 400. Oh, I have 600. Uh, how much are these? Hmm. See, this would might be too early to unlock. So I like to wait a little bit longer. Oh, you know, I should have checked the switch alignments up there. Well, it's kind of slowing down. It's not speeding up. <laughs> now here's a here's another hint and trick. If, if all of a sudden you get you're in trouble, but you can actually use the brakes on the car. Let's see if that works. Yes, all right, that's. The brake is on Blue Lake 200. So see it, that kind of stopped. We can unload this car. So we can run forward to the engine and see what's going on. 
hope these are oh oh i don't like that that track is going to collide with that train there our newest engine oh so i'm glad wow okay the drama this is the this is the drama you pay for with that like and subscribe button it's the craziness here just never ends when desert trolley rides a train all right got to put the reverser on i'm going to power against that brake even though that the brake is on that car the engine has a lot of power and it can power through that okay and turn the brake on here yeah the engine is much more powerful than the car brake and i don't think i put the car brake on fully okay so what we gotta do is throw this switch <laughs> okay that switch is good and that switch goes out to the main line that goes up a grade to the refinery which we don't need to do oh now we'll go back in here i'm gonna set the regulator to six this time no five is good okay release the brake put it in the reverser okay the reverser is set forward it's starting to move forward run charlie run Run, 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 run. We gotta go all the way back to the car, the last car with no iron. This one. Car 200. Yep, there's the brake. Release the brake. And the engine should start moving. And the engine should start moving. Oh my god, it is, but it's super slow. Oh, okay, I'm going to do this again. Put that brake on. I guess five wasn't enough. Uh, da, 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 da. Now see if I had a brakeman. I could just use whistle commands and he would be telling me what I need to do. Okay, I'm going to push this up to eight. Yeah. Reverser is forward. The weak whistle up for it. Go forward. Now the brake is on. Alright, let's remove that brake. Let's see if 8 does it. Slowly it moves. Wow, I have really misjudged this. I guess this train is still heavy. Hmm. It's it's moving, but badly. <laughs> well, folks, here's how not to do it. Uh, hope you find this as an educational experience. I'm going to put it up. To, what, 14, 14, why not? Okay, 14, it is definitely moving. Probably gonna have another runaway train. Okay, it's, mov it's moving with the brake on, right? Because the brake is on? No, brake is off. Brake is off. Interesting. Is that the right car? Anyway, it's fast enough. This, Yeah, this is way fast enough. Okay, so here we go. Here comes... Now it's going to get exciting. One, two, three. Okay, this is a speed unload now. We went from too slow to too fast. Another off offline. There we go. See, this is why you have a nice, good, long dock. More iron coming off. Oh, these are rails. Now, rails got to go backwards uh, to, to the mine. So we can't unload rails here. We just want the raw iron. Oh, and we missed that one. Oh, we missed it. 
There we go. <laughs> and the coffee's still cooking? Coffee's still going, yeah. All right, so all but then this one. So yeah, now I got to catch up to the engine because it's running away, but it's clear mainline ahead, so I'm not too worried. Running on the cars gives me a little extra speed. And it keeps me on the train because there's no guarantee I could catch this train if, if I was running off of it. Okay, run through the tender into the engine. There we are. We are in the engine. Turn off the regulator, hit the brake. Hit that brake, 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 brake. Hit the reverser, three whistles for backwards. And release the brake, hit the regulator, and away we go. Yeah, that's a long train. Yeah, that, that's a really long train. Uh, 16 miles an hour backwards. What can go wrong? So I'm going to back up all the way to the uh, uh, to the coal mine, and we'll unload those rails there. Huh? I'm not going to worry about those extra iron bars. I'll, I'll unload those uh, on my after hour shift. All right, so here the caboose is about in the right location. So here's my tip and trick. I'm going to stop the train here. I'm going to again put it on six. Release the brake. The train is starting to move. Jump off of the engine. Run like a madman. Run, Charlie. <laughs> Hopefully the train is moving. Because now the trick here... Yep, it's moving. The trick here... Not to be in first person to unload. Okay, so the train is moving. So now I'm doing the same trick as uh, as unloading last time, except this time in reverse. Gonna wait. Now this one is is a little trickier because it's a shorter dock, and you got more to unload per car. See, the other car only had only had uh, three items to unload. This one has ten. Now I can't unload the iron here because the iron is meant for the other location. But I have another car of rails. As you see, it's picking up speed. My money's going up. Yeah, I'm up to 1,400. Yeah, I made about 1,000. Oh, another car of rails. Three cars of rails, so 1,700. And then it's empty all the way to the engine. So here's the trick. Again, at three, in this case, I come to the caboose. And in the caboose, hit the brake wheel here. And that should stop our train. Yes. 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 Maybe yes. Maybe not so much, yes. I could double up another car, maybe? That's a powerful engine. There we go. Okay. That'll stop it. Yep, we are mostly stopped. All right, I'll take care of that in a minute. So anyway, here is the first engine. Uh, that was used to build this empire, and as you can see, it is the uh, like and subscribe engine. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just getting started and all this stuff. So uh, hopefully you would enjoy this and encourage me to keep on broadcasting. Uh, I'm not making any money off this. This is just, just for fun in my semi-retirement. Uh, I, I do have a brand new, uh, the uh, Christmas train is all decked out and it's red and green. Uh, Highland Pacific, the uh, good old Norma, engine number nine here. And we have uh, uh, four private cars now. We have the Desert Charlie, which is, of course, my car. We do have the Pinky Sky, which is my wife, who just went to bed. You saw the Pinky Cam. We have my number one fan, Tim Hincliffe. And he's always usually the first on us. So uh, he said, wow, that is the greatest Christmas present he's gotten. So he thought that was really cool. And then I have a new subscriber and a new fan. Uh, that I've known for a very long time. And she gets her own car, the Pamela K. Yes, wow, look at that, the Pamela K, private car. Look at that, we go inside. It is decked out, luxurious. It's got a its own bathroom, a really small bathroom for the, for the uh, front class section, uh, the first class section back here. Uh, it's got its own bathroom, but it's a lot larger here. So you can go inside, hang up your rack, close the door. There you go. Wash your hands. We ask that you do not flush while you're in the station because, you know, it's it's just not cool. Uh, we got the heater because it is winter time, And we always have the coffee cooking in the caboose uh, in, in our Christmas train. And so that's our uh, main headquarters. That is the Highland Pacific main office here. There you go. Highland Pacific main office. So you can check out the headquarters. I tell the boss. Hey, boss. Knock, knock. We, uh, he's not there. Uh, we have our new roundhouse facility over across the way and car barn and car maintenance and turntable it's pretty cool whoa see, see, see that superman jump that was that was that was nice so yeah we got uh we got uh our our shed here a wonderful little turntable area we got our car maintenance uh shed here and uh we have our polling station and water uh we got we got the town kind of set up Town, the town is kind of looking good here at Rock Ridge Park with uh, with the old like and subscribe engine. There we go. <laughs> All right, folks, I got to go make sure this engine is safe. And I guess I got to uh, work overtime to uh, uh, to clear that. Oh, and we have cows. Look at this. We do have cows. Hi, guys. Cow animations on this are really good. They really, really, really did a good job on, on these cows. I hope, I hope there are other animations of passengers are this good, too. I'd like to see just random passengers sitting on the sides of stations, you know, just hanging out. So we do have a full uh, uh, ranch of... Uh, cattle here and we have the cars ready to take them to the meat market i just i just don't have the heart i just they're just too cute i don't want to take my cows but uh, i've seen the loading animation on other youtube videos and it's really cool i'll feature that as a special uh train uh the other oh there's red rock mesa in the distance so the, the, the other uh, video I want to do is I've created some fire lookout points uh, on the layout uh, that, that, are, that are located around. And uh, I want to take you on a tour of those because there's some very interesting vistas on this uh, Lakeview map. So anyway, that was fun. We made it successfully down that dangerous grade. Uh, everything was fine this time. I was able to offload except for one car. I'll take care of that uh, when I'm off the air. So thank you for joining me. Uh, remember those likes and subscriptions are free and they're revocable at any time. So 
thanks a lot for uh, joining me on this on this adventure. Uh, hope you all have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas and all those things that everyone believes in. Uh, I'm going to Arizona, see my family. And so uh, we should have some fun. All right. Everyone headed to the fun zone. All aboard.